Hello, students. <laughs> We're back to finish up the lab here regarding the acid-base titration. You may recall when we spoke last, we created a, well, we didn't really create, we can't create or destroy things, but we changed the form of the acid and the base through a neutralization reaction, forming this solution here. And so I'm going to take some of this solution and I'm going to be putting it into a watch evaporating dish, a glass watch glass or a, a glass evaporating dish here. I'm going to be pouring about a, oh, I don't know, a half dollar sized amount onto this glass evaporating dish because our final step here is to heat this up to try and prove or disprove what you think might be in this solution. And we're going to be using the Bunsen burner in order to more quickly evaporate the liquid in that dish. So I've got my Bunsen burner here. We're going to start up the Bunsen burner. You may recall the various steps of lighting the Bunsen burner from previous topics. So right now I'm making sure everything is tight and closed. Very good. We don't want any accidents happening in the lab. Safety should be a priority at all times. Now system on and light the burner. There we go. I love it when it works well. Now, can you see the flame? What kind of a flame do we have here, by the way? And don't worry about my little rubber ducky. He's far, far away from the flame back here. Very, very far away. It's just the camera angle makes it look a little closer. So don't worry about Ducky. We're not, we're not uh, burning him up. But we've got a bad flame right here. We want to make it a good flame. So we're going to adjust the collar, allow more oxygen in there. You may even be able to hear it roaring. Can you hear it? It's a quiet flame. It's a roaring good flame right there. And I'm going to put the Bunsen burner now underneath the evaporating dish. And all we need to do from a safe distance is observe. Now, you may have a hypothesis as to what you think might be in this liquid from the neutralization of the acid in the base. Well, we're going to prove it now because I think you do have a good idea of what may be in this solution. So we're heating it up for that very reason. And I'm going to move a little bit out of the way because I think you can see it a little better when my white lab jacket isn't behind it. Do you see it bubbling up? It's already boiling, folks. It's already boiling. And as it boils, it looks like the clear liquid is evaporating into the room. And it appears as though there's some type of a residue being left behind. But we'll let it continue to evaporate here until we think it's completed. And then I'll shut the burner down and we'll check out the dish and see if your hypothesis is correct. By the way, do you remember what the pH of this solution was after it was neutralized? Oh my, can you see it? There's little white specks popping all over the place like popcorn here. Can you hear it? I am going to, woo, check it out. Make a bad flame. Whoa, turn the gas off. And look at that, it's almost like popcorn up there. That white powdery residue. Now I'm using my heat gloves because cold glass and hot glass both look the same. And we know for a fact that this is hot glass. But I want to give you a closer look as to that white residue left behind on this evaporating dish. And I think you know exactly what that white stuff is. So while you're thinking about that, I want you to finish up your lab activity. And for now, I'm going to say... Bye-bye.